Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey and you are here. What's going on? If it is your first time checking us out, well, what's up? Like I said, I'm Jersey. Have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, we're in the 70s, so 70 like three weeks straight we've done this show. Comes out every Friday on Window Cleaning Resource and it's also YouTube, SoundCloud, Google Play, anywhere that you listen to podcasts you can find it. So just search WCR Nation and listen to them all. If you want to comment or be part of the conversation, just go to YouTube. That is where our comments are. Uh, also, we do these as Facebook Lives. You can also comment there. If you are one of the elites, one of the cool kids, somebody who likes every episode, thumbs up, listens, shares the content, and most importantly, buys your window cleaning and pressure washing supplies through me, shameless plug, uh, then what's going on? Uh, it is because of you, because of you, that I don't have to order off the dollar menu anymore at McDonald's. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you want to buy your supplies through me, that would be epic. Uh, my number direct is 862-312-2026. That is a cell, so just text me uh, if and when you're ready. Uh, I get a lot of people, too, who just put everything in the cart and text me, like, yo, Jersey, I got an order in my cart. I want you to put it in. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, those are people who just genuinely want to say thanks and make my day who they just let me put the orders in for them, big or small. I really do appreciate that, guys. And gals. Um... So, yeah. Uh, this week, I want to give a few shout-outs. First and foremost, Ben Hamilton. What's going on? Uh, Mr. Kevin Fennis, um, by the way. Uh, I know he was a winner, but I still wanted to give him a shout-out because uh, he said some cool things about the show. Uh, Michael Meadows, what's going on? And Matthew Clebeau. Man, uh, Matt, let me know if I screwed that name up. But anyway, what's going on, guys? Uh, thanks. Those are just some of the awesome people that uh, surround this show. Uh, people who watch and listen, uh, text me and email me and everything else. Just be like, yo, I love the show. It's like the best part of my week. So thank you, guys. Um, if you want to comment or be part of the conversation, go to YouTube. Like I said, uh, do that and comment, and that is where our giveaways happen. So this week we do not have a giveaway, only because we're running short on swag bags, but we are getting new stuff in. Uh, we are also going to get some stickers and possibly some swag coming up in the near future. So that is going to be awesome. If you look on my board right there, I got the new Window Joe sticker. If you haven't checked out his podcast or any of his stuff, it is awesome. Go to Window Joe. I also got Luke. Where backwards, that's Luke. And uh, I got another Luke. Look at that. Look at that. Anyway, if you guys got stickers, shoot them over to me. I'll put them on the board. Uh, that would be pretty cool, too. So, anyway. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking about um, the top five. Because we're doing a series on top five. This week is top five add-ons. Uh, we've done add-ons before, but I want to revisit them. Now, add-ons are when you have your window cleaning Listen, this is the Window Cleaning Podcast, but whatever it is, if you're window cleaner or pressure washer, just swap what I'm saying. So if I say window cleaning and you're a pressure washer, talk pressure washing. But um, your main service is the one, your bread and butter, your your big money item. You cannot be 50-50. You could be darn close, but it's very, very impossible to be 50-50 exactly. So check your numbers and see which one you are. But that's your focus. Don't ever lose sight of your focus. That has to get a lot of your attention. But once that ball's kind of rolling, now it kind of can explore some other options. And here's where add-ons really, really kind of excel. We talk about this all the time, but member or your clients, I should say, they have a trust for you already. You do services for them, so they trust you. That's huge. Trust in business is the reason you get work. They trust you for whatever reason. They have a good feeling. They don't trust you. If somebody doesn't have trust or even an inkling of trust, they're not hiring you, right? We've all seen shady-ass contractors that you're like, I'm not hiring that guy. He's going to steal my VCR. Uh, VCR for all the young people is a, a mode of uh, watching movies at one point. <clears throat> but <laughs> but uh, you have to have trust. If you don't have trust, you, you, just, you don't have that core... Um, value that that brings people in now once you have the trust which is the hardest part to get 
that is easiest to replicate. Now, if you have trust from somebody and you say, I'm a window cleaner, you've always cleaned your I've cleaned your windows for the past three years. We've talked about your kids, I've petted your dog, you know about my family, and blah, 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 blah. And uh, I just want to let you know, we also offer XYZ. They're going to go, oh my gosh, wow, that's great. I was looking for somebody for XYZ, right? Uh, if they are not looking for somebody, you can't sell them even if they trust you. But when they are looking for it, they'll remember that you do it. But I did a survey one time. This is this is super cool. I did a survey to all my customers. And we're, we're probably did uh, maybe 800, not all of them, but we did like as 800 or so customers, maybe. Somewhere in that range. Just under 800, I think. And um, I sent out a survey. And it was a general survey. And it was a gift card. That thanks for taking some time. Not everybody uh, handed it back. But I got a ton. I got a ton of them. I actually got, well, I got like 10% back. Which is pretty, I guess, all right. I don't know what you're supposed to get back. But I don't know if uh, people didn't. Uh, I didn't include a self-addressed envelope. That was probably my, my, my cheap error. But I sent out these things. And I said, hey. We want to better our company. You're a super awesome customer of ours. We want to know more. And one of the questions was, which of these following services did you know we offer? Big list. It was, I don't even think there was 10, but I broke it into like, you know, uh, exterior windows, inside and outside windows, gutter cleaning, you know, like, like specific little things. And uh, out of the 10 options or eight options or whatever there were, the average of what they knew was less than three. And those were people that I've had as customers for a long, long time. And I'm telling you, I've done the envelope stuffing where they get our ads, they get our emails, they get our direct mail, they get everything with all these services. Every time I want to push a different service, they're getting it. It's in front of them. And these people did not know what I offered. That survey actually brought us in work too. So I should have done that. It was cheap. I wasn't even thinking. Um, but uh, self-addressed mis- mailed envelopes. Um, it ended up bringing us in a good probably $2,000 worth of work just because um, people were like, I didn't know you offered that. And they sent it in. It was bad timing, but I just wanted to get some feedback. And there was a spot for notes. It was super valuable for us. But it was mind-blowing to me. Uh, how many services people didn't know I even offered. So on top of all that, you need to stay just as relevant in window cleaning as you are in all these other services. If you decide to get any other add-ons, you need to stay relevant. Uh, That is mind-blowing. Do a survey. If you guys haven't done a survey yet, this is not a survey episode, go get uh, get a sheet of paper, do the self-addressed mail envelopes. It was a 50 cents a piece, you know, for a stamp or whatever. Just do it. Don't be cheap like me. Um... And get that information back. Just do a few questions that you want to know. And then a big spot at the bottom. Tell me any and information of how we can improve ourselves. It'll be the most valuable thing that you do. I'm telling you. But anyway. The one thing you don't want to do with services. Is be a jack of all trades. If you're a jack of all trades. You're a master of none. Right? We've all seen those guys. You've seen those ads. I do painting. Pressure washing. Roof repair. uh, Car detailing. Dog boot picking up. And uh, llama manicures or something right you've seen those they don't do any of those things great because they're too busy doing all of them like if you uh did high rise you're a high rise guy and that's all you do guess what you're really good at you're really good at high rise we did high rise and it was so spotty and maybe once a year that i sucked it was not good it was not comfortable it was not anything because i didn't didn't do it enough right so don't be a, a jack of all trades and a master of none but here are my five top five uh, favorite add-ons money wise. Let's talk about them. Number five is going to be gutter cleaning. Now gutter cleaning, it should be higher on the list, but it's not. Why? Because gutters are filled with gutter muck and it stinks and it's awful and it's horrible. But if you got a gutter vac or one of those type systems or, uh, employees who don't care about, uh, cleaning gutters, it is awesome. Here's what I do on gutters. Gutters for us, the minimum charge on gutters is 249 that's our gutter charge minimum why because i hate them it doesn't really hinder i mean some people are like whoa that's too high but look at the type of house you have people don't want to use gutter they don't want to clean gutters they're not cleaning their windows they may not have ladders they gutters are awful gutters need to be cleaned because you can get water damage and everything else and rain's pouring over and the storm's coming like gutters are an urgent type thing so gutters are really good. Now, $249 is a great price for gutters because for the most part, the longest gutter job that, I mean, the I shouldn't say longest. 
The longest gutter job I've ever done was probably maybe an hour and a half. I don't think it was even close to two. That's a monster. I didn't charge two forty nine for that. But a normal two forty nine gutter job, that's gonna take you like an hour, less than an hour, right? Uh, and a lot of times, if you get up there, they're not even that bad. Sometimes they're awful and trees grow, which are the greatest pictures ever. Um, but uh, sometimes they're not bad. So it's great and easy money. The big thing that you need to know or remember is with gutter cleaning, you need to wear gloves. Like if you're using a gutter vac, obviously this doesn't. But if you're like scooping or spooning or any of that stuff, which by the way, we sell all those little things too. If you don't want to go the gutter vac route, which is a few thousand dollars, you can go with just a spoon, a specialized gutter spoon or a scoop or the gutter tool or all that stuff and a bucket. But here's a trick. If you're doing that, go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get the painting hook, painting bucket hook. It's just a hook with like a little clip at the bottom that hooks onto buckets. And then you hook that on the rung of your ladder. That's what it's made for. It's awesome. Um, gutters still suck, but just one little tip. Go get it. It's like two bucks. Um, but if you're going that route, wear gloves because the decomposed stuff that's in the gutters, which gutters are one of the most like fertile awesome soils because they are always filled with organic matter right you got leaves um, regular dirt sticks whatever and that is always covered in water water if it could be dewy out there's not even water anywhere else and it would drip down your roof and in there so it's always in there it is always kind of dark and shaded to some degree so the breakdown of uh, organics is just very very high that's why when you get it out it's so black that black is just fertile 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 soil um, and if you leave your gutters too long it does actually turn into like mud and dirt and that stuff's awesome stinks to the the high heavens but is great for her compost but that super black decomposed stuff will stain your hands and uh, I don't have great hands. Like, I don't want to be that guy of like, oh, I pedicure my... But I hate having black and gross hands. So wear, like, rubber nurdle gloves or whatever they're called. Neural, neural, nurdle. Whatever, make up words like me. That's cool. <laughs> wear those gloves, though. Uh, I'm not talking about, like, fancy gloves. I'm talking about a box of thicker disposable ones. Like, Lowe's has some super thick called uh, Spider Co. or something gloves. They're super thick. They don't rip very easily. But be prepared to wear one or two pair because they are going to rip. But that helps kind of keep the grossness off. But you're going to make great money doing it. Gutter cleaning is definitely, definitely uh, one of the add-ons. A number four in the top five add-ons for our industry is screen repair. Now, screen repair is one of those love-hate relationships, kind of like gutters. I love screens. Why? We people, the guys and crews will bring back screens that need to be repaired, and we have a seven-day turnaround. Uh, usually, it's a lot quicker than that, but that's what we say. It's guaranteed to be back in seven days. Blah blah blah. They bring them in, and guess what I get to do at the shop? End of the day, if guys are bored or you want to give a little hours, they can just sit back and rescreen a bunch of them. they got to be like noted and marked. Uh, we use uh, painter's tape to, to, to batch them so you can see which ones are whose. Um, and then they have to be put back on. But you could charge minimally $30 a screen um, because the service doesn't count for anything. Yes, they can bring them to Lowe's or True Value or whoever does screens. And um, they're going to be less, but they got to take them down. They got to bring them in. They got to wait around. They got to bring them back and install them. We do all that for them. And remember, this is a luxury service. Like if their screen's broke, they could take the screen down or just not open the window. So our minimal uh, charge is 30 bucks on a screen. Now, material-wise on a screen, I have not done the math because it is so little, but a lot of times you can just reuse the spline. Even if not, you're spending like, a couple dollars on material. It's very, very inexpensive. Uh, buying in bulk, obviously, if you're screening, and then build a shelf of screening table. We had a big one with some like industrial carpet on it and uh, blocks and things to kind of hold the screen. And it makes things a little easier. The downside why I hate it is because if you're really, really busy, it's hard to get those back to the job. And, uh, you know, it, it becomes a little bit cumbersome. Getting them in the back of the truck, and they're sitting in the back of the truck all day while the guys are running the route, can damage them and things like that. But, again, the money's pretty good. Now, think, 
on a house, 20 windows, say that's pretty common. Say they want to rescreen all of them. You're looking at 10 screens on a 20 window house or uh, you know, 20 pane house, I should say. That is going to be 300 bucks. That's pretty nice for, you know, 20 bucks worth of materials and some time. And you can do it kind of leisurely if you got that 7 day. So, think about that one. It's it's not bad. Uh, it's not a bad option. Again, it's a love hate kind of uh thing but it's nice here's the other thing is that it's if you do it it's insurance so when somebody you or one of your guys or girls rips a screen on accident or sometimes they're so sun fried that they like droop and the pieces are just like falling apart those are really great upsells on the screening world and you don't really have to have a ton of technique or knowledge and you can do it in your own time it's a pretty decent add-on. Now, if you talk to a guys like my buddy Kurt, uh, he decided to start doing some solar screens and other things, and he's doing like gangbusters on it. You can really go in to start doing custom screens, custom framework, uh, screen rooms, and all that stuff. The framework again, you can buy custom framework from uh, like a Lowe's. Again, Lowe's is closest to me, so that's why I bring it up. But they have custom frames that are actually the splining areas with like a flat backer with screw uh, pockets in them. So you put those on to make a big frame. You custom make those, and then you knock the screen into those. You mount those onto the wood frame of the outside. Lots of options. You're talking about big money for that. Um, also. If somebody brings you screens because they search or it ranks well for screen uh, repair, they may also realize you do window cleaning and it's a nice kind of pairing between the two. Um, so think screen cleaning. Screen repair, not cleaning. Uh, number three on the list of top five add-ons is pure water cleaning. Now, I went back and forth on this one. I wasn't even going to put this in there because, listen, we all know it's not really an add-on for something because if you do windows now you're doing windows but just with different equipment but the way that you can sell jobs because you use pure water is huge now just for people seeing the equipment um sitting out there and people go what are you doing that's how you clean windows where's the soap go what's the it's like mind-blowing and ask anybody who's done pure water they sell jobs to new people because they see the pure water setup sitting outside. There's a couple systems out there too, like say uh, Zero Pure. The Zero Pure has a stainless steel housing, so super flashy, super clean, really nice. Um, the IPC stuff is all wrapped now, so it's got like custom graphics on it. They're just really, really nice systems. They look professional. They look like uh, everybody doesn't own those and you're super professional because you have it, because you are, right? You reinvested in your company. Now, I know I'm partial. You guys know I'm a sales rep, so blah, blah, blah. Try not to make this salesy. But having something like that or adding that, not only does it make you more money faster, quicker, safer, but it also allows you to kind of upsell that. Um, and it makes you safer. So a lot of times when people are talking and they're right on the fence, you're looking for any kind of little thing to push it over, I always say, hey, um, I know you may not have window cleaning done before, but our process on the outside of these windows will be able to use something called a pure water system, just like a spot free rinse in a car wash. That system allows me to stay on the ground. I'm not going to have any ladders against your house, no ladders on your siding. There's no chance of me falling off a ladder uh, or damaging anything. Uh, it's very, very safe. I'll be on the ground the whole time. And that puts people over like, whoa, okay, well, all right, let's do it. You know, like I've saved jobs that way. I've closed jobs that way. Uh, pure water, maybe not as an add-on, but kind of as its own um, money-making thing works 100%. Like screen cleaners. Like I'm not going to put in screen cleaners into this, but the same thing. It's the equipment that sells the add-on. Pure water is super safe. Like I said, it makes things uh, safer. You're not on a ladder. So as a male-driven industry, we don't talk about safety because safety is one of those like, oh, I'm going to live forever. Uh, it doesn't scare me. It's not that it scares you, man. Talk to Diego or talk to any of these guys who've, who've had a fall and uh, telling you 100,000 million percent they would go back and uh, use safer methods 100% of the time. So, um, yeah, pure water can be done kind of as an add-on. But I'm not touching anymore. If you got questions pure water wise, you can always set up a consultation with me or call me 862-312-2026 if you want. Check the forums, talk to people. Yeah, pure water is done. Number two on the list of top five add-ons for window cleaners slash pressure washers is 
roof cleaning. Now, roof cleaning is the highest uh, ticketed amount um, add-on service that you could possibly have. The downside to roof cleaning, you have to get different equipment than what you have now. Not a big deal. The equipment's pretty cheap. Starter kit with you without the tank and stuff, it's like 550 bucks. Not a big deal. Not a bank breaker. That's like two jobs or one job. The amount of money per hour made is the highest out of any. The, the highest amount of money I've ever made per hour on a crew was at roof cleaning always. Amazing. It's cool, quick, fast results. A clean roof sells other clean roofs. Uh, it's great. The downside to roof cleaning is that you have to educate people on roof cleaning. No one knows that roof cleaning exists unless you're some methed out dude vacuuming your roof, if you haven't seen the video. But uh, regular roof cleaning doesn't exist. Why? Because who do you call if your roof looks gross? You go, oh, I need a new roof. You call a roofer. Hey, can you guys clean this? They go, no, we can't clean a roof. No, no, that needs to be replaced. That algae is eating your roof. And it's going to, and you go, oh, okay, okay. Twelve, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 later, you got yourself a new roof. So you have to educate people on this. A lot of people don't know that it exists or know the process or know anything. But I tell people, when you go and do a roof bid, Look at the roof. How old is the roof? Well, the roof's 22 years old. Uh, you can clean it. You'll get a couple more years out of it. It's going to be a lot cheaper than um, you know repairing it, but uh, it's not going to make you have a brand new roof for composite-wise. But I'll go and I'll look at it. If the ends are flipping up, turning up, or the roof just doesn't look in good shape at all, I'll let people know. I'm like, hey, uh, I don't even really want to clean this roof because I don't feel like it's going to do anything. This roof needs to be replaced, unfortunately. You can still clean it if you got you know, your morals and people, you're cleaning a bad roof, that's fine. But most of the time, all it needs is a cleaning because that dark streaks and smears are dark streaks and uh, algaes and lichens and mosses and things, they just make the roof look junky, right? Letting people know is the hard part. Letting them know it even exists. So it's a very hard a hard service to sell because you're educating people every single time. So uh, kind of find out what works best. When you're doing ads, it's more about letting them know what it is than selling them on it. It sells itself, obviously. But it's another add-on. Not only is the money amazing, but it is also a add-on that sells other add-ons. Other services and other jobs will be booked because people see it and go, whoa, Tom, you get a new roof? No, they just came by and cleaned it, man. It cost me like 500 bucks to do this roof. They're going, what? And then they go and have it. Why? Because if the north facing side of a roof is facing the street, everybody on that side of the, the house wants it done because they pull into their driveway and they look and go, golly. But if the north, if the house is facing the south, right? It's facing south. It's actually on the north side of the street itself. Might have said the other one backwards. But if the front of the house is facing south, their front of their house looks great. They're going to pull into the driveway and never know there's a problem. On the back of the house, it looks awful. But that one side of the street, you're going to sell multiple people because they're going to look like they got a new roof. They're going to walk down the street. I got I got houses, uh, townhouses here where people have cleaned certain ones. And you see the whole row. All the roofs connect, but there's perfect lines of dirty and, and, and not. And it sells. It sells. People don't want to be that dirty one, right? That's very obvious. Roof cleaning is a very good one. But look into it. It's one of those services. Um, and train people. Let people know about it. Um, and water. The biggest thing with roof cleaning, if you've never done roof cleaning, after you get everything, you water everything on the ground. Plants, grass, trees, branch. Everything gets watered the entire time. Don't go and start killing stuff. But... Look into it, do your research. It's a great add-on. And number one add-on for the list of the top five uh, window cleaning add-ons is pressure washing slash window cleaning. So if you're a pressure washer, add window cleaning. If you're a window cleaner, add pressure washing. Why? They are the perfect pairing of services. Really, really, really perfect. A window cleaner is already there, and they're cleaning the windows, but the house could still look dirty. So you can sell a house cleaning before the window cleaning. Same thing, vice versa. If you're there to clean the house, but the window still might be spotty when it's done, you then can add window cleaning afterwards. Now, depending on the price, our minimums work like this. So our house washing minimums in Wisconsin is $399. In North Carolina, my minimum was $249. 
Why the difference? You can charge... Blah, blah. There's so many more people here that uh, it is a little bit harder to get kind of more because there's more people. You could change and play with your pricing all you want. But those are our minimums in house washing. When you add window cleaning, external window cleaning to those houses, and I only wash the windows that are exposed. So if there's screens, I only do the other one and vice versa. After the whole house is washed, the windows are still pretty clean, but I'm going to finish them up and make them spot free. Wash the house, come back over them for 99 bucks on a standard house. Could go up from there. I'll do all the outside windows. That's going to take me maybe 20 minutes. That's set up, windows, tear down. Because I'm not scrubbing super crazy. Everything's pretty clean. I'm just finishing them off. And it's a great, if you're at a house wash and somebody's like, oh, I want to give you an extra 100 bucks. For an extra 100 bucks for 20 minutes of work, you're already there on site. All you got to do is pull out a piece of equipment. You're making them happier. It's an easier upsell. It's awesome. On the same side of things, when you're cleaning a window and you go, hey, the outside of your house or when you're going doing your bids or estimates or whatever, the outside of your house, uh, as you know, there's some darkening on the one side. The siding is just very dirty. If I clean the window, you may see some clean marks also on the siding. We don't want that. So what we can offer you is is a, um, a house wash. Now, a house wash on that side, if you're already there on services, play with pricing. But if we are selling it to an existing window cleaning client, the upgraded uh, house wash, we'll do a house wash for $199. People are like, what? We're already there. We've already gotten the higher ticketed uh, window cleaning. It's usually not a, a super simple little window cleaning. It's inside and outside, very detailed. We have their trust. Let's add it on. Um, the other thing with pressure washing that you can add on is concrete cleaning. That's huge. Concrete gets bad. Patios. I don't do wood. Wood sucks. Do it if you want. But concrete cleaning, I mean, when you talk about adding services, just pressure washing, window cleaning, and roof cleaning, that covers absolutely everything on the external side of the house to be visually clean, right? Everything. That's crazy. You can add a package with all of that. Right, You can add gutter cleaning into that. You can, with these add-ons, make packages tiered so that people have these awesome, hey, you want everything done, here's a price for that. People aren't necessarily going to go for the biggest one, but they're going to go for the middle because they don't want the crappiest package. They don't want the biggest package, but they want the middle. So what happens is instead of selling them one service, you're selling them multiple services. You're building their trust, trust and you're just making more money. You're making people happier. So... <coughs> Excuse me. So add-ons are very, very awesome. Don't be a jack of all trades and a master of none, but uh, do add some things on. Uh, it's so, so beneficial. Let me know. If you are on YouTube, like I said, our conversation happens on YouTube, uh, Facebook, any of those things. If you ever want to start a Facebook thread in any of the groups, Pro Window Cleaning or any of them, just do hashtag WCR Nation, start a thread, and let's talk about what services you like. I'd love to hear your opinions, your add-ons, all that good stuff. Um, the conversation side of this is very, very cool to me. And a lot of other people. Remember, we're helping people. So not necessarily somebody in your market, but maybe a new guy. Maybe it's time that you help out the new guy a little bit and let us know what uh, services you like to do. So tell me. And here we are at the end of our show, uh, where I'm going to give you a code right now. If you want to order any supplies, again, 862-312-2026. If you order supplies, the code for 5% off, if you order through me, is, uh, I'm not, uh, let's say Jack. That'll be it. Just Jack for Jack of all trades. If you tell me the word Jack in your order or in your texts, which a lot of times I just do that. Uh, hey, I got an order ready. Jack. Then you get 5% off your order. It's just that simple. That means you watch this episode all the way to the end. And uh, it's like a high five back to you. So order through me. That would be awesome. And um, yeah, be a uh, master of your trade. And uh, go out there and be 